Hi again, everybody. I have something a little different here, and I wanted to just make it into a video because I was told I could. Um, it's an interact. It's a brief little interaction I just had with somebody who, who contacted me over Facebook, so I'm going to keep it anonymous. But here's the story. Hi, Ali. Thanks for accepting my friend request. I know you have no clue who I am. I was researching about MPD and came across your YouTube channel. I think what you do for victims is great, making their voice be heard. We, you and I, are sitting on opposite sides of the table. I am ruining my marriage with MPD. As a victim yourself, I was hoping you could assist me, even point me in a direction. Because I didn't ask for this disorder, and no one should be suffering from it. I am currently on the path to recovery. I am a child sexual abuse survivor. I have a therapist lined up and have sought victim counsel. I have contacted the Florida Attorney General to begin pressing charges and hopefully sparing other kids my fate. But what can I do in the now to change? Is there anything that, would, that you would recommend to start to heal her wounds? <coughs> Meaning his wife. I am not clinically diagnosed. And this is what I told them. Honesty. You need to say what happened to you as a kid out loud to the therapist. Plus you have to be honest about your own behavior and the things you have done that you say is destroying your family. However, in my opinion, true narcissists never seek help unless forced. Even then they lie in therapy. If you're honest about what you're doing, you'll be able to start to heal and move forward. And I mean that when I say that. Now, most people watch my videos to find out what happened to them in the past. And I've always, you know, and I've always said there are some narcissists who are actually watching my videos for evil intentions. But then there's some who start watching my videos and realize I'm talking about them and want to do something about it. That isn't a narcissist. That isn't a true narcissist. That's somebody who's further down the nar narcissist chain of progression, but they haven't crossed over that line yet where they're beyond saving. I've said this once. I'll say it a thousand times. A narcissist will never seek help. They will never even acknowledge that they are a problem. He responded back to me. I do not consider myself a true narcissist. I am the product of an unhealthy environment that bred, me, bred and beat me into these traits. We, my wife and I, recently were able to pin down the what and why of my disorder. I have read far too much in, in forums for victims, your channel, and books about the disorder. I find it repulsive that I behave that way as in physically ill. I want to heal, but I want to heal her more so. I want at a minimum to put some lotion on the, on the meta, metaphysical scars, metaphorical scars, I'm sorry. I have offered to leave for any amount of time that she feels that she might need, but I have crafted such a stringent area for her to operate that whether I stay or go, she remains paralyzed. Can that be undone in your opinion? And I replied, perhaps with time, but you have to at least accept the possibility that it may be too late. I am not saying it is, but nothing is guaranteed. If you give her the space she wants and work on yourself and start to make real change, then that's the best opportunity for the both of you to get past this. But you can't force anything. You have to let her forgive you when she's ready. That's her decision, not yours. Remember that. And that's what I'm going to talk, that's what I'm talking about when I've been saying it isn't the abuser's position to tell you when you should get over it. As long as he doesn't try to force anything on her, like saying, well, I've been in therapy for this amount of time, and I've done this and this, why aren't you past this? And he has to accept the fact that it might be too late. I don't know. I don't know the particulars. It doesn't sound like he thinks it might be. It seems like he had this revelation of everything he'd done and realized 
what the problem is and has decided not to project back and victimize who he's been victimizing. And that's a great thing. It really is. For him to have this level of honesty about like, wow, I've really been abusing my family. I've really been abusing my wife to the point where she's frozen. <coughs> Excuse me. Frozen. So for for him to acknowledge this is is a great thing. Because again, narcissists never acknowledge. But you have to give her the time she needs. And if she's ready to forgive you and move on, she'll make that decision on her own. And if she decides it's beyond repair, you're going to have to accept that. You're going to have to accept it as the consequence of your behavior. And then move on with your life, knowing what you know now, knowing that you screwed up, and try to get a second chance you know, at life. But I'm not saying that's the way it's going to go, but you have to be prepared for it. You can't go into it with any um, with any pre pre made conclusions of how it's going to all end up because you can't. This is all for her, and this is for her to get past it. And you got to prove it to her. You can't. You can't prove it to her. She's got to. You got to prove it by her watching you, not by you saying anything to her or telling you or telling her this is what I've been doing and look at that. It's not how it works. She's either going to notice the change in you or not. And that's completely for her to decide. He replied, I understand I am lucky. She's very empathetic and forgiving. What would have made an immediate difference for you? I, I have pulled all controls and encouraged her to go and kick it with friends, diametrically opposite of how I was a year ago. I have apologized, but as with my type, it doesn't come through as genu genuine because sorry is a tool of, of NPs used to string their victims along. Even if it's too late to save the marriage, which I don't think it is, it isn't too late to improve her quality of life. And this is what I was replying to what would have made an immediate difference for, you, for me in the whole thing. And it's nothing. And in the same, it's the same, it's nothing the same for you. Nothing can change until you learn about NPD and personality disorders. That's where we all have our aha moment. Narcissism is so underexposed these days, it's only now people began looking it up and started making the connection. You know, and that was a discovery every one of us had to make on our own. We finally decided to look up because it started getting out, narcissism, personality disorders, and whether you looked it up on your own or somebody told you to look it up, that first time you read it, and you're like, oh my God, this is everything I have experienced in my life. Everything. But that is a discovery you make after taking so much abuse, it finally leads you to that road. I don't think there was any way, there's any way to speed that up or to speed up the recovery. It's just part of the process. You're going to come to it when you come to it. And a lot of people never come to it. The only thing you can do to help other people is if you see people in a similar situation and they don't know what the hell is going on, don't tell them about narcissism. And don't tell them about personality disorders. Tell them to look it up and read it for themselves. And that's where the revelation comes. And that's how you improve your quality of life. Because it's not going to change until you find out about this and you read it and you read all the symptoms and you read all the tactics. And you finally can get a definition of what the hell gaslighting is. That can't be forced. That's going to come when it's going to come. He replied back, I had forever thought that I was right and righteous, but watching your channel and reading and reading. I can clearly see what I am doing, have done, and how it ripples like a tsunami out, of, out from me. Thanks for taking the time to respond. Any help is appreciated. If you feel moved to, you can anonymously refer to this conversation. Sometimes narcissists are the victims creating victims in their own image unintentionally because we do not know we are fucked up. Again, keep your channel going. 
more people need to know about just how dangerous we are. I hope to be able to ask you other questions or share what I may learn from therapy. Well, I thank you for your honesty and I thank you for offering to let me use this on the channel as well. I, I appreciate it. But I will tell you this once again, you're not a narcissist. You have a lot. Narcissists feel no guilt. Narcissists feel no guilt, no empathy, no remorse, no wanting to make things right. That's not a narcissist. You just didn't realize what was going on. And once you figured it out and found out, you're moving to change it. And that's what's important. So thank you for your story. I really appreciate it. Um, it takes a lot of balls to do this and, and, and admit what you're admitting. And, you know, just be honest going forward. And um, I'd love to hear some updates. And I really, I really wish you the best best of luck on this because this is kind of one of the first this is one of the first uh, stories like this I've actually had so it's a good one and I think it's it's a uh, it's a nice reminder for everybody else who has these uh, thoughts that maybe I'm a narciss narcissist would you would not be here you would not be here trying to fix this if you were a narcissist so always keep that in mind and thank you again. Thank you, everybody watching. Uh, please leave any opinions or comments in the comment section below. And again, if you have a story, a topic, a video, audio clip of a narcissist you want to expose and you want to write away or you just want to support the channel in general, you know what to do with the PayPal link in the description box. I will have the video right back to you. This is Ali Matthews. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all again shortly. Bye.